Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Action Figure Cantina. Please join us for this video as we celebrate one full year on YouTube. It's been a heck of a lot of fun putting together these videos for y'all. I hope you've been enjoying them and uh, as always if there's something you want to see feel free to submit a request uh, in the comments or drop me a message through Google+. Uh, if I have it, I will be happy to review it for you. So today we're going to be looking at the Hasbro Star Wars 2013 Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. Here's a look at the packaging. So, so I ordered this Obi-Wan figure through eBay. Uh, this particular series was not released uh, in the U.S. It was available in, uh, only in Canada and Europe if I recall correctly. Uh, and that's pretty unfortunate because I really dig the look of the, uh, the individually carded figures uh, in this lineup. Uh, in any case, this Obi-Wan is, uh, is a repaint of an earlier Obi-Wan figure from, I believe, 2012. However, this one appears to be a little bit more accurate to the Clone Wars TV show. Hasbro did a really good job uh, sculpting this figure. He looks so much like the Obi-Wan we see in the TV show. Earlier efforts of Clone Wars Obi-Wan were pretty good, um, but I think this is probably the, uh, the best one. Um, they just did a really good job recreating the look uh, from the show from seasons uh, three through six. And um, I think what separates this version from the previous release of this figure was is uh, the fact that he looks a little bit more accurate. Uh, he's got a closer um, tone for his hair and beard, which is a little bit more of a reddish brown. Another thing I want to point out here is that the sculpt just looks really good on the clothes. The tablets look like something straight out of the TV show. Um, so kudos to Hasbro for you know such a nicely done uh, figure. In terms of articulation, Obi-Wan has a ball joint here atop the head. He has ball hinges at the shoulders. He has ball hinges at the elbows. Silvals at the wrists, rotation at the waist, forward and backward motion at the hips, and a hinge at the knee. Obi-Wan comes with a single accessory. It is his lightsaber. It appears to be a different sculpt, or at least different from any Obi-Wan figures that I have. Uh, it looks like the hilt may be some, maybe just a teeny bit shorter than, than previous uh, molds of the specific hilt. But, uh, you know, it looks nice. I like the coloring on it. The blade is also like more of an ice blue color, um, whereas uh, many previous Obi-Wans, of course, had the darker blue to the lightsaber blades. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Star Wars 2013 Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. I think he is the best Clone Wars version of Obi-Wan that Hasbro has put forth. The sculpt is great. The paintwork is really good. The lightsaber is nice, articulation, um, while there could be a little bit more in there, I think it's um, perfectly fine as is, and uh, as such, I highly recommend this figure. I think he's great. Thanks for watching Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, bye-bye.